Whether you're a veteran player or new to the game, it's always good to refresh your knowledge on how to play your favorite maps. This is 3 general tips for every map in Valorant. In celebration of the ocean-themed Neptune bundle that just dropped, let's start off with Breeze. On B-Site, did you know that you can actually boost yourself up onto this pillar? Although it takes practice, I found that the most consistent way that it can hit the jump is by crouching first and then jumping, and then proceeding to spam A and D. Very useful if you want to give yourself the high ground without having to use abilities. When you're climbing up to halls from the attacker's side, you can catch your enemy off guard by taking the alternative way up with these barrels. While we're in halls, remember that you can fake the drop to mid by using any kind of projectile. This includes both weapons and abilities. It's good for either faking out or confusing enemies. Just keep in mind, however, that the sound that a player and a projectile makes are different when dropping through. Most of the general tips that I can give you for Icebox is just understanding where and how you can jump to get to different places. For example, you can get to either generator or top screens without using any abilities. For the screen's jump, simply jump at the last second and crouch again on top. The generator jump takes a bit more practice, but to perform it, run and jump at the last possible moment and then grab and release the rope instantly. This will give you a tiny bit more distance to be able to make the jump. I found that a more consistent method of hitting the jump is by lining yourself up with this little line that's second from the right and aiming at the corner of generator. Do the same grab and release technique. Crouching at the end can also help. As of patch 4.10, the jump is still possible. Similarly, you can use the same grab and release technique on this rope to get from belt to pipes and vice versa. Good for repositioning. Lastly, towards B site, I don't see a lot of players utilizing this gap in the wall as often as they should. The gap allows for any kind of projectile to go through. It's great for retakes and for post plant situations if you have control over CT. On split, it's crucial to understand how to make the jump on top of the mid box. This trick allows you to bypass the sage wall or even peek over the smoke to catch your enemies off guard and get potential picks. To perform the jump, you need to run up to this ledge and jump the second you reach it. While you're in midair, hold crouch and then let go the moment you make contact with the edge of the box. There are also some variations to the jump that you can do. Take some time to practice the jump, it'll be a very useful trick to use in game. The second tip is that if you're somebody like Omen or Breach, you can use your blind, stun, or cannon for both A and B heaven from positions like market or sewers because the space between the positions are very close. You can set your team up for success during your pushes with a little bit of coordination. Lastly, this general tip applies to all ropes in the game, but I think it's especially important in Split where significant positions like Hell and Vents have ropes. When you drop down, you can hold shift at the last second when you attach yourself to make zero noise. Very efficient for jumping down quickly without making noise to alert the enemies. Moving on to Ascent, if you're one of those players that likes spamming the B main wall with an Ares or Odin, you're exposing yourself to the open during potential rushes. Instead, I suggest that you reposition yourself to on top of these boxes if you're going to spam the wall. This way, you have more cover, time, and space to prepare for a rush, all the while still having the ability to wallbang your enemies. Another positional tip for Ascent that I don't see a lot of players using is a jump from Heaven to Generator. This jump is relatively easy. You just jump at the very last second to get on top. It can be made easier by crouching as well. The spot is useful for either holding the site or retaking it as it'll force enemies to look way up to shoot you. Finally, I suggest that if you know that the enemies are pushing A, that you close the door prematurely and break it so that the enemies don't have that added cover when crossing into site. It can also make the retake a little more easier. Next up is Haven, one of the more unique maps because it's the only map in Valorant that has three bomb sites. This can make defending a little more difficult since the defense can be spread thin, which can make it easier for enemy lurkers to get more picks. So my first tip would be to always hold shift and walk when you're rotating off of B site. More often than not, you'll probably only have one guy playing B and the enemy will have a player in mid lurking and poking around for information on where the defenders are playing. If you stomp your way out of B, it makes a loud metallic noise that can be a huge indicator saying, hey, they rotated out of B, the site is open. So, I suggest that whenever you rotate off of B, always walk to deny that kind of information. My next tip is another no-brainer, but both the A and C site boxes are wall bangable. Most players will plant default, which is the standard position to plant the spike. So don't be afraid to spam a couple bullets through the boxes. You might end up getting a kill or doing some chip damage. Lastly, retaking A site from heaven can seem daunting, but there is a way to drop down quickly without having to take any damage. Simply jump out towards the left and land on top of these boxes. It's more useful than you think. Here's Sinatra doing it in high elo. Next up is 
Now the unique thing about Bind are the portals that'll teleport you to one side of the map to the other. What I want everyone to know is that basically every single projectile in the game has the ability to go through the portal and open the doors on the other side. This includes weapons, abilities, and even the little dart that the cypher camera shoots out. You can use this to force the doors to open on the other side, which leads into tip number two, which is to utilize the portals. There are so many times where the enemy Sky has sent her bird flash through the long portal and blinder guys pushing showers. Likewise, you can help your team in getting picks by throwing flashes, nades, and mollies through the portal doors. Valorant is a team-based shooter, so let's not forget to work together. My last tip on Bind is that if you're ever chasing an enemy through the portals, it can be a good habit to look backwards while entering the portal since the enemy may be camping and or baiting for you to come in for a free kill. If you enter in facing behind you, you can have a better chance at taking out your enemy. Last but not least, it's Fracture. One of the main characteristics of this freak of a map are the two long ropes that will take you from one side of the map to the other. If you're ever caught by an enemy while ziplining, just know that you are in fact able to shoot with both your primary and secondary weapons. So just know that your classic tends to be a little bit more accurate than your rifle. Also, for some reason, you can't use your jet knives while on the rope, but you can use your neon laser. Similarly to the breeze shoot and bind portals, the sand store on Fracture can be opened with any projectile, weapons, and or abilities. You can use this to peek past the door without having to get close. Finally, I think a lot of people underestimate the wallbang potential in Valor. For Fracture, you can actually wallbang the edge of B site from underground. If you have a gun that has mid to high penetration power, just ping your target on the map and spam through the top of this window. As a bonus, here's another wallbang spot that you can do instantly from attacker spawn to potentially kill the player at ropes. Aim just anywhere below this ventilation unit and spam your gun. And that's the end of the video. If you know any more general tips about any of the maps, please put it down in the comments so other viewers can learn even more. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you around. <laughs> I'm coming in, coming in. Oh no. Can you ult it? I think we can take the drugs oh, first. Oh yeah, I'll raise you. My ace! Can I have it? Have it, have it. Yeah, 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 go, 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 go. He's probably vent. Maybe he's Nice. Nice, y'all.